Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, and uh, we're out again today in these freezing, foggy conditions. It's really cold today, it's really bitter. And uh, we've got quite a lot of mist and fog around at the moment, so I thought I'd come out for a bit of a walk. I've not been out for a few weeks, so I thought I'd come out and give it a try and see if I can get something interesting. Uh, today, if you can believe it, we've got a little bit too much fog and um, any sort of vistas or anything like that are pretty uh, pretty clagged in at the moment. So uh, we're going to look for some shots that are quite um, quite close, uh, maybe include some foreground interest. I took some nice shots on the way up here with a path that sort of leads you up to this location. So I'll put them on the screen for you now and uh, let me know what you think. Okay, so we're going to have a little walk further on now and uh, see what we can come up with. There's a nice little area further down with some nice pine trees and some nice rock formations in like a valley. And um, I think that'll make some really nice shots with the uh, fog in the distance, you know, making it soft as it goes through the image. So let's have a walk down there now and see what we can come up with. Okay, so we've come across our first scene now and uh, been playing around with the composition quite a bit on this one. It is quite a tall scene and it's basically a little stream which runs through the boulders. It's not normally as full as this, so it's quite good to see it like this. You can really see it stand out against the rocks. There is a nice tree at the top as well, which is um, going to be the sort of subject of the image, the sort of focal point. And uh, because of the fog and the mist behind, it's providing quite a nice background that's not getting blown out, which it would normally do with the uh, sky behind it. Um, also, there's no sort of sheen or anything on the water, so uh, I'm not too worried about any highlights in the uh, sort of reflections getting blown out. Now, um, like I said, I've played around quite a lot with this composition, and I wanted to get this um, nice little S-bend that's in the foreground here, which is uh, basically the stream which goes through the boulders. And I wanted to try and include that, and because on every sort of bend of the S-bend, there's like a little mini waterfall, and I think that'll look really good. And that leads you up through to the sort of main boulder and the tree above. So I think this image will be one of those that sort of really sort of guide you through the image and uh, let the viewer sort of basically have a little journey through the image. And it really gives a sense of the sort of atmosphere of this, uh, this morning. So I put a 10 stop filter on there to really try and slow the water down and uh, get that sort of smoothing out effect of the water. I'm not sure if I'll go for that yet. I might take it off and take a few faster shutter speeds. I don't want to totally sort of smooth out the water and have it really milky and soft. Um, I do want to see some detail in there, so I'm going to uh, try both uh, with the filter and without the filter and see what, uh, see what I like when I get back. I'm shooting at f16 as well because I'm quite close to the foreground and I want to make sure everything's really sharp. I'm not really going to bother uh, focus stacking this because I'm not too bothered about the softness in the background because obviously it's foggy as well this morning, so uh, you know, it would be soft in the background. And um, yeah. At the moment I'm just doing 15 second exposure and once that's done we'll have a look and then we'll uh, take it off and like I said we'll do a faster shutter speed and see what we like. Okay so I went for about 6 seconds in the end there with that shot, with that long exposure shot. Uh, I think 15 seconds that we're trying before were just a bit too long so 6 seconds has produced a really nice smooth uh, texture on the water. Now I'm going to take the filter off and uh, try some faster shutter speeds and uh, try and capture some of that detail and texture within the water. And maybe combine the two afterwards if I like a bit of both. I can uh, sort of blend two together, or uh, just you know just see how it turns out. So let's take that off now and uh, do that. Okay. okay so I've gone for about one fifth of a second there, and that's captured some really nice detail and texture in the water. So I said, we'll uh, have a look at them on the screen when we get back to the computer and we might blend two together and see what we can come up with.
Right guys, so we've walked on a little bit further now and I've come across this really nice uh, set of trees. I've uh, got this really nice old gnarly tree coming out there and um, we've got a couple of fallen trees on this uh, far right side just behind me and uh, we've got this massive tree in the middle and I quite like the, uh, the effect that it's producing this big trunk in the middle. You've got the gnarly sort of tree on the left hand side and the kind of uniform albeit fallen over trees on the right hand side and um, quite like this path that's going through as well and the mist in the background is really softening it up so I'm going to try and have a look around now and see if I can come up with uh, a shot here I'm sure there's something to be had so um, yeah I'm going to play around and uh, see what I can come up with if I do get anything I'll put it on screen for you now and then we're going to walk on to our next uh, location So I think it's really important as you're walking around from location to location to uh, keep your eyes open the best you can. Um, obviously it's difficult on rough terrain but um, what I tend to do is just stop every couple of minutes or so or even 30 seconds, have a look around, look back on yourself because there's always something uh, in the other direction that you miss when you walk past it and you don't realise till maybe on the way home and the conditions have changed but uh, always keep your eyes peeled if you can. It's definitely, uh, definitely easy just to walk past something really interesting and uh, as you move your perspective and things like that, images change, scenes change and uh, I found that's really been a big help over the last couple of years to try and improve compositions and capture compositions and stuff like that so always keep your eyes open on the trail. So we've walked down a little bit further now from where we were before and uh, come across this really nice scene with the uh, with the bark here of this tree, I really like the uh, texture on it, it looks really cool that. and um, I thought I'd try and fit it into a composition and I really like the tree in the background there that provides a nice sort of uh, subject in the distance especially as it's arching over at the top of the uh, frame there so it kind of frames the top of the image quite nicely and um, with the foreground interest of the bark and the uh, subject in the background I think it creates quite a lot of depth to the image and that's what you want in your images and also with the mist and the fog, I think it provides that nice ethereal uh, feel to it. So I think it's going to turn out really nice. So uh, I'll put that on screen for you now. Let me know what you think in the comments. And um, we're going to go on to our next location now, which is the Rock Ravine. And see what kind of uh, cool rocks we can come up with. Okay, so I've come to the last location now where I want to shoot. Like I said, it's this really big um, sort of canyon with sort of sheer cliff faces on either side. And uh, I don't really know how to describe it really, apart from uh, sort of a canyon basically, which is sort of blocked off at this sort of far end here where we stood. So we're looking down back through the canyon itself. And uh, just as we arrived, there were some people stood at the uh, edge of one of the cliffs. So I took a few shots of them just to uh, really show the scale of this place and, uh, you know, how sort of big the cliffs are. And, um, you know the, the mist and the fog keeps rolling in sort of thicker and uh, we're getting a bit of light coming through now and again it's really changing all the time so it's making uh, conditions difficult really to try to find a nice composition there's no real sort of like lone trees or anything to sort of focus in on and uh, make the subject so i'm having to get a little bit creative now and think of uh, you know just some sort of abstract kind of images simple images really and what i've done here is in this shot i've set up as a portrait orientation and we've got this sort of heather in the foreground here and uh, obviously it's dead now because we're in winter um, or spring now, we've just gone into spring but uh, obviously there's no colour in it or anything it's just kind of like browns and greens and greys which uh, kind of fits with the sort of morning really it's kind of a misty sort of grey morning so that's going to sort of um, you know add to the atmosphere of the image and this sort of leads you around into the kind of cliff faces there and it shows the entrance to this 
sort of canyon area as well. Okay, so I've set up my composition now, and uh, like I said, I've got this um, heather in the foreground, so I'm going to focus in on that. Because I've got that quite close to the camera, I'm going to be using F16, just to make sure that's really sharp, and as much um, sort of sharpness as I can get through the image with these rocks and everything. Um, I'm going to be um, shooting at uh, one eighth of a second, because it is quite bright now, like I said, the sun is punching through that fog a little bit, and that mist, and it is sort of lighting up the scene. ISO 100, got the two second timer on. And yeah, it's quite simple, it's not award winning, but I mean it looks pretty good, it does sort of show the morning that we're uh, sort of having here, and the conditions that we're in, so yeah, I'll put that on screen for you now, let me know what you think. Okay, so I'm just working my way around the top of the uh, sort of perimeter of this um, sort of cliff face. There's some nice sort of boulders from this old rock fall. I'm going to try and capture that in an image. And uh, again, that'll just sort of tell the story of this area and uh, you know what's going on here. So I'm going to set up and take that. Okay, so I'm just doing a little bit of filming now on the Nikon. I just want to explain this composition that I've set up here. So uh, as you can see in the uh, sort of left-hand side of the frame here, we've got these rocks which lead you around into this... Uh, area of old rock fall here and I think that looks really interesting. I've completely cut out the sky, that's just a distraction, there's not really much going on there so I've cut that out just to uh, make it as simple as possible. Uh, there's not going to be any colour in this because um, there is no colour basically and um, it's just all about the interest in that rock fall. Maybe a little bit of dodging and burning in Photoshop and uh, we'll be able to pull something really nice out of this so I'm going to take it anyway and just give it a go and see what I can come up with. Yeah, it looks pretty good, nice and simple. Um, nothing complicated, nothing award winning. It's just going to be uh, a nice little shot just to have a go at sort of post processing, you know, practicing that dodging and burning, seeing what we can pull out of it. Sometimes you can get some really nice images, maybe even a black and white if you get high contrast, you know, bring out the uh, sort of texture in the rocks there, the shadows, stuff like that. Um, I think it might look really good. Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog there. I really hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. I really enjoyed getting out this morning. I think it's been really good just to get out and uh, basically get some exercise and fresh air. I think it's really important in these times for your mental health and well-being. So um, I really hope you've enjoyed the images. If you have, put a comment down below and um, please like and share the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future videos and hit the notification bell. And YouTube will let you know exactly when I post my next video. So until the next time, bye for now.